Hey guys, I hope you're really well. Today we're making one of my favorite meal prep recipes with my favorite fruit. It's gonna shock you, it's an eggplant. So this is the eggplant parma and it is super high in protein, low in carbs, low in fat, calories, and you won't believe how deliciously creamy it is. So keep watching if you want to know how to make it. So you'll only need a few basic ingredients for our eggplant parmesan, also known as eggplant parmigiana or parmigiana di melanzane. So you'll need just two to three medium sized eggplants, 250 grams of tomato or napolitana or marinara sauce as it's also called, one cup of low fat ricotta cheese and it's also optional to substitute some of the ricotta for low fat mozzarella as well if you like that type of cheese. Salt and pepper obviously to taste and this is totally optional but you can stir through one cup of egg whites or crumbled tofu through the cheese to make it even more protein packed which is great for your pre and post workout meal prep and of course course totally optional but recommended again Italian seasonings such as one teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of chili flakes to add a little subtle hint of spice I think is really nice and also after it's baked to garnish it with a bunch of fresh basil or also parsley leaves both of these fresh herbs are so good and go really well with Italian dishes so just some tips on picking our eggplants I will always make sure to pick small or medium sized eggplants to avoid bitterness. Large eggplants tend to have larger seeds, which where the bitterness can lie. Don't be afraid to pick up the eggplant as well and make sure it feels heavy for its size. The eggplant should feel heavy in your hand, which is a sign that the flesh is fresh and in good fresh condition. The skin should be vivid, smooth and shiny and that beautiful aubergine color. The stem should be green and not brown or moldy and it should feel slightly firm when you press it lightly with your fingers. The skin should bounce back. It should have a little bit of give and those tips will help you pick the perfect sweetest eggplants. So let's get into this recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is preheat our oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to slice our eggplants into about one centimeter thick rounds lengthways and we're going to season with salt and pepper. I recommend pre-baking the eggplant slices on a lined baking tray for about 20 minutes turning halfway until golden. Or if you like, you can skip this step and place the first layer of raw eggplant slightly overlapping each other into a greased large baking dish. This is obviously quicker, but it will result in a more watery texture. It will still taste great though. I definitely recommend baking it first if you do have that extra 15 minutes. Also, just a quick note here that I don't find this recipe needs oil, but if desired, you can spray the eggplant with a little bit of olive oil before baking and drizzle in between the layers. You can also use coconut oil if you desire, but I think olive oil is the best for Italian cooking. So now we are going to make our filling in a bowl. We're going to stir together our ricotta cheese or our mozzarella cheese mix and the egg whites and tofu if you're using and the seasoning. Then once that's all nice and combined, we're gonna spoon about one third of the cheese mix over this eggplant, spreading it nice and evenly and smoothly. And then one third of the tomato sauce. I'm gonna repeat this process until you have three layers. Then it's totally optional here if you wanna to top it with more seasonings or herbs, whatever you like. Maybe even a drizzle of olive oil if you have the fat macros for it. But otherwise we're gonna bake in our oven for about 45 to 60 minutes until the ricotta is nice and golden on top and the eggplant is fully cooked. Got to mention also that for a vegan version, you can replace the ricotta cheese with cooked lentils or cashew cheese or vegan cheese, whatever you like. Um, I've tried it with lentils before and it's worked really, really well, especially if you're just dairy free. It's still so delicious. I absolutely love this lighter, healthier eggplant parmesan. It's one of my favorite ways to eat eggplant. There's no breading, just eggplant, cheese, and marinara. It's a household favorite and one of the easiest dishes I've ever made. Guarantee that all your friends and family are going to love it. You can serve with extra protein of your choice and a fresh green salad and it's so divine. Traditionally in Italy, people shallow or deep fry the sliced eggplant filling and layer it with loads of fatty cheese and tomato sauce and oil and then baked. But this is a much lighter, beautiful version that won't leave you feeling sick and heavy. It will leave you feeling fresh and healthy and satisfied still. 
The origin of this dish is claimed by both the southern regions of Campania and Sicily. And yeah, it's just amazing. Definitely try this for a weeknight dinner or like a quick lunch if you're working from home, which I know some of you are out there and I hope you're staying super safe. And if you do try this, let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you try this recipe at home. It's so good for just keeping in the freezer and having on hand when you need a really nourishing protein meal. So if you did like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe below that really helps support me and this channel don't forget to also leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts because I'd love to hear them thank you so much for watching bye